Good afternoon. We are going to start our lesson four in Kwame Sounds, and this is our last lesson for the unit. So you're going to be acoustical engineers again today. Yeah, yesterday was a little practice. Today you're going to actually do the real thing. So you and your group that you have are going to be assigned a bird. You're going to be assigned a bird call to listen to and create a visual representation of the bird song that you hear, the bird call that you hear. Okay, so what I'm going to do is first I'm going to have you listen to all the bird calls. There are five of them. And on the page in your journal, there are pictures of all five of these birds in here. Raise your hand if you recognize one of these birds. Mason? The blue jay. A blue jay. Do you recognize another one? Cardinal. The cardinal. So I'll play this, I'm going to play the sounds. And what are the things that we want to listen for as we listen to the calls? Pitch, duration, and volume. Okay, so the properties of sound. The pitch of the call, the volume, and the duration. Okay, do you remember what we used to show pitch? What did we do? Yep, we went like this, didn't we? Okay, and what about volume? Yep, did we do this? Yeah, we did that. Yeah, okay. I'm going to assign each group a bird. I'll play your individual bird. Each of you at your table, I want you to imagine on your own. Once that happens and after I've, everyone's had a chance to do that, then you talk in your group and you find a representation amongst the three of you. Thumbs up if you're ready. Common blue. Eastern wood peewee. Northern Cardinal. Blue Jay. Morning Dove. All right, imagine on your own. This is the one you're focusing on. Do you need me to repeat that one again? No, I already know what it sounds like. Okay, so I want you to imagine what does that sound. Think of the pitch, the volume, and the duration that you heard. Think on your own. So write down what you think. What are you thinking about? What is it going to look like to you? You, write, you show me what would it look like to you. So since there's three volumes, I put one-third for soft, two-thirds for medium, and three-thirds three for loud. And I did three-thirds four times because um, there was four, there was four um, beats. You both imagined what it would look like. You pulled your ideas together, and now you're going to take those three ideas and make it one. So show me one representation of what you heard. We have our plan. That's a volume. Okay, so once you have that plan on there, then you can start creating, okay? You can use any of these materials, or just a, you know, a few, you don't have to use all of it. We could do, we can, what is it, our plan? We can um, combine yours, which is high. So this could be our high. And then this can be our low. The his um, air rock of air is going to be our high. It worked! It worked! Nikayla, I really think we should do this to make it make the graph shine. I'll give you another minute to wrap up those creations. They're looking fabulous. So what does that look like? Five, six, seven, eight, eight. eight. I want to hear from those that have completed their representation. So they're going to show you their representation, explain what you're seeing, and then we want to see if you can determine which bird call that was. So who wants to go first? Abigail? So our group did, um, we had, for the strings, we did, it was low, and 
the macaronis we use for um, an arrow to represent the um, high pitch. So if you were to improve upon your representation, what would you do? We would probably add volume. Okay, add to and show volume, okay. Can anyone figure out which bird call that was? Kylie? I forget the name, but it has a loon in the team. The common loon? The common loon. Is that what you had? Yes. Wow, good job. We represented the volume by using the little, the elbow macaroni for the soft, the, the large pastas for the loud, and the Cheerios for the medium. Okay, so which bird do you think had that call? I think it would be um, the dove. Yes. yes. What? The dove. Okay. Nicely done. See? Acoustical engineers all in one day. Did the unit help them with their conversational piece? They are English language learners and this kind of activity. They're thinking on their own, they're listening to ideas and they're sharing. Um, and their ideas were just phenomenal.